Hi, this quick video will show you how to use the Salesforce plugin API in Tixi platform. So I already created a new project and to import the plugins, we're going to go to create new uh, from plugins. And then just a second, we're going to see two Salesforce plugin API. So the first one, um, the Salesforce auth API provides a simple sign in API as well as circle example. But the one we want to use today is this one, which is, has the contacts API. Um, sample app, so it's ready to run sample app that talks to Salesforce um, API. So once you select the plugin, we can click this button uh, to import uh, the plugin. So once the plugin is imported, we can open it and we can see. So these are the pages that were imported from the plugin and these are the services. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open um, Salesforce settings file, and this is the information uh, we need to set before running. So I already set the information, but um, first is the client ID, um, and of course we would need to copy this uh, from our app in Salesforce. So this is the ID right here, and also the callback URL, which is already set here, and then of course it's also set uh, right here. So those are the two things we need to set, and then we're basically ready to run the app. So there is a test button. Clicking test opens the app in the browser and we're prompted to sign in. And just a second, we're gonna get a list of all the contacts uh, from Salesforce. And we can click on um, contact and get its details. We can uh, modify, we can delete, but let's also try creating a new one. So let's create a new contact. And we'll put all right, click save. And we can see the item, the new contact was added. And we can again, we can save or we can delete um, an item. Um, so that's basically again, extremely easy. It's ready, ready to. Um, use app, um, all you need to do is set up the ID and the callback uh, URL. Uh, and just to show you, so for example, the service, if we go to um, get contacts, um, so um, it has the URL set, uh, we got the request parameter set, and of course we also got the response, um, the JSON response uh, configured. So again, um, extremely easy to use. Um, and thank you for watching.